Joining me now is Brian Bremberg, co-host of The Big Money Show on Fox Business. Brian, they keep thinking that this is a messaging problem. Right. What are they really saying here? What are the voters saying? What are the people saying? Yeah, the Biden keeps saying, why haven't you gotten this yet? Why haven't you gotten the taste for Bidenomics like it's a fine wine and somehow it gets better with age? But what all the voters know is it doesn't get better with age, it gets worse. It's less affordable with age. Houses are more out of reach with age and the government gets bigger with age. You talk about unelected bureaucrats running your life. Let's talk about gas stoves and furnaces, furnaces and dishwashers and the cars you can drive and you can't drive. That's why when they look at 2024, they say, this isn't going to get better. This guy doesn't know how to make it better. All he knows how to do is complain about the fact that the rest of us have had it with the path he has us on. I love, by the way, how the Biden people are trying to spin Bidenomics and KJP did it again today. Watch. When the president walked into this administration, the economy was in a tailspin. It was. Data shows that the economy is in a better place. But I understand, we understand that Americans don't feel it right now. That's why we're going to continue to talk about junk fees. Junk fees? A junk economy. So that's their big idea, to get American people back on their feet, Brian? Yeah, the junk fee presidency? Yes. It's crazy. Look, does anybody like junk fees? No. Do they think the president of the United States should be focused on junk fees? No. Was this economy in a tailspin? My goodness sakes, we had interest rates that were below where they were now, gas prices below where they were now, wages that were growing faster, Total lie. inflation that was lower. Laura, these guys, all they have is spin. And I'm sorry, but Americans can't live and feed their families on spin. That's what they know. And that's why in these polls, they say, give me something else, anything else. Preferably capitalism is what I would say, something that creates opportunity, not a bigger bureaucracy. Well, and the fact that real wages, yeah. real income is down from when Biden was sworn in. I mean, even Nate Silver, you know, pretty big liberal, got into a big fight with all these progressives, I think it was over the weekend, saying, guys, you don't get it. People don't have as much disposable income because things are more expensive. That's why Biden's in the toilet you know, plus the other issues. Um, Brian, great to see you tonight. Merry Christmas.